We're joined here with Darren Curry, head of our pre-season game against the West Ham 11 on Saturday. So Darren, um, three pre-season games under the players' belt, or half and half for the, the first one. How have you seen the performance for the players so far? Um, <clears throat> obviously the, the two games that I've been at, uh, I thought we got better as the game went on, which doesn't really surprise me because obviously we've had a tough pre-season um, schedule in place for them and the boys have been working really hard. Obviously out in Portugal we was pushing them to their limits, doing two, sometimes three sessions a day. Um, so although we've started certainly the Bedford and the Thorot game relatively slowly and built into the game, I think the most important thing that I always look upon is we've come out with no injuries, so that's the, that's the main thing for me. And as you mentioned there, Portugal, how beneficial do you think it's going to be over the season as a distance rather than just necessarily doing like a pre-season with more games and then not having the training camp? I think it could end up being quite crucial, I think, to, put, to be fair to John, he done all his shopping um, very early on, which has allowed everyone that travelled to Portugal, albeit uh, one or two trialists with us that we were looking at, um, everyone is going to be involved this season. So they've got to know each other every minute of every day we was out there. Um, and interestingly enough, speaking with the boys, you know, uh, to bike ride down to the training facility where we was training and they drove down every morning with someone different. So yeah. it gave them the opportunity to just, you know, just chat and have a, ask a few questions, learn about each other. And that could prove to be crucial when the season's up and running. And then um, a few a few players missing, I don't know if it's injuries or um, if you're saving for Saturday, is there any injuries we need to be updated on? Nothing major, just little niggles that have been picked up, which is quite standard through, through pre-season. But, you know, as a main, we're coming through the games without picking up any injuries, which is good. The ones that we're sort of carrying a little bit at the minute are hanging over from last season and one or two little tidy up operations that we had during the off season. And it's just a case of managing them and just making sure they get enough work done so that ultimately come the opening day of the season we've got everyone to select from. And then uh, looking ahead to Saturday, playing West Ham, we haven't seen the squad they're playing but they, they might be playing a lot of their under 23 squads but we've seen squads like that this season with all the shot playing a very young side. What do you expect from them? If they're involved with a club like West Ham, I'd expect them all to be good players, um, whatever team they bring. Uh, whether it be senior players coming back from injury or young players, I expect them to be technically and tactically very good. And it will be a, a good test for us. We'll, we may potentially spend time without the ball, which, which is fine. There's two sides to the game, so we can work on our organisation, our possession. And then it will be, as it always is, about the quality we provide when we have the ball. And, you know, we've signed some very exciting players and along with the group that we still had here from last season. So it's another game that everyone will get opportunity to get some minutes under their belt. And it'll be a tough fixture like they all are. They, I, I, don't, I, I didn't think for the first 20 minutes that it was an easy game. You know, and then it took time to build into that. And once we got in our flow, we, we, we got better and better. And all pre-season games have that one purpose, and that is getting yourself ready for the opening day of the season. As you said, they're the opening to start of the season. We see um, several newcomers coming into the league, like Leighton or Hartlepool, and then other people come up. Is there any games you're looking out for, any opponents that have caught your eye, or think there's going to be an extra challenge? Um, I would expect the likes of Aldershot and Tranmere to be in and around it again, same as last season. Obviously the new boys coming up, um, we will have to watch and learn about and see how they settle into the league. Naturally you expect Tory and, and, and Hartlepool to do okay because they've come from a, a league above mm -hmm. and certainly with Orient they're, they're signing lots of players so in their respect it will be how they gel together quickly. I've got to be honest, with the signings we've made and the way we played last season, the team I'm most excited about is our own team. Okay, cheers. Thanks a lot, Darren. Thank you. Bye.